the Mickey Mouse Club presents The New Adventures of Spin and Marty. Today's episode, Moochie in Trouble. be a blue-nosed gopher. It's a gnat. Yeah. Why can't those females stay on their own side of the lake? They sure picked a fine time to come calling. We gotta be polite to them, don't we? Who does? Doesn't seem to be anybody here. Maybe they're down by the lake. Let's go see. Okay. Nice to see you again, Spin. Yeah, Hi, me too. Hi. Hi, Hi yeah. characters. Hi. Oh, this is Darlene. What'd you say you do more? Darlene. <laughs> She's my best friend. Well, I'm real pleased to meet you. Annette's told me so much about you and the fun you had last year. I'll say I almost drowned. <laughs> <laughs> Darlene and I go to the same school. I've talked her into spending the summer here at Circle H. Good deal. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Darlene's mother's an actress in New York. On Broadway. As we say in the theater, I'm going to be an actress when I grow up. Well, Annette, aren't you young ladies out a little early this morning? We were just heading for Squaw Canyon. Miss Adams and the rest of the girls have gone ahead. We were wondering if the boys might like to come. Oh, gosh, Annette, that'd be swell. Well, wow. We can't. We got to help Bill go out and round up some mares that got away last night. That wild stallion ran them off. The white one that scared my horse last year and made her run away? That's right, dynamite. Oh, how exciting. Can we come along? Gee, Annette, I, I don't know. Tangling with a wild stallion's pretty rugged, especially for girls. Well, why not? I think it'd be fun. Anyway, I've never seen a wild stallion. Huh? They won't even let me go on. Well, I'm sorry, girls, but I'm afraid I'll have to put the damper on that, that idea. I shouldn't even let these boys go. But they'll be back in a day or so, and then maybe we can all get together and have a weenie roast or something. How's yeah, that yeah, be? That's a great okay, I'll take a rain check on it, Mr. Logan. I guess we better go now before Miss Adams starts to worry. Yes, yeah, she's a worrier. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 Ben, Marty, come on, let's get moving. It's going to be hot out there. Okay, Bill. Okay, Romeo. You going with us, or are you going to Squaw Canyon? Oh, sorry. <laughs> See you later, Mr. Perkins. Come on, Perkins. Quit stalling. All right, you buckaroos. How about getting the bunkhouse cleaned up? I still say it's a dirty trick not let me go along. Gosh, you'd think I was never on a horse before to hear him cook. What a dirty trick. Still don't see where I can't go. There doesn't seem to be any horses around here. Oh, he's probably hit the tall timber by now. Yeah, that guy's faster than a scalded cat. If we could only find his lair. His what? Well, uh, you know, his den. Where he hides out, I mean. He may be fast, Marty, and ornery than a lop-eared maverick, but he's still a horse, not a mountain lion. Now, if he's got those mares, chances are he's run them up into the foothills. The longer we stand around here gassing, the less chance we got of catching up with him. Why not? 
got no business telling me what I can do and what I can't. Gosh, you think I was a baby or something. You know something? I bet you you and me could catch old dynamite. country out here, isn't it? Yeah. I guess this is about all that's left of the good old wild and woolly west. Are there any grizzly bears around here, Bill? I've never seen any. There's mountain lions up there, though. They're not apt to come around here. You don't think he chased those mares clear to the mountains, do you? Oh, I doubt it. Chances are he's got them hidden out in some box canyon out there in the foothills. Well, fair keep looking.
next episode, Lost on the Range.